Hello guys, IIT Madras is one of the most prestigious institutions in the country. It was founded in the year 1959 and 120 students graduated out of this institute in that year. Today around 10,000 students graduate out of IIT Madras across all the three streams of undergraduate, graduate as well as postgraduate degrees. Getting into the IITs is very tough. Around 10 lakh students actually apply for the exam. You have to first write the JE main exam and out of that about 1.5 lakh students qualify for the JE advanced. If you write the JE advanced and you are among the top 10,000 of those applicants, then you can get admitted to one of the IITs. If you want to get admission into the IIT Madras, into any stream, then you should get at least a rank of 6,000 or less. IIT Madras has been ranked as the number one institute in the country according to the NIRF rankings. It has been ranked number one for the last eight consecutive years in the engineering departments. Right now I'm standing next to the Gajendra Circle. This is the center of the IIT Madras campus. If you've seen any imagery or any logos of IITM, you might have seen the GC logo before. So from here we can actually access all of the different parts of the institute. We have the library over here, the hostels are over there, all the departments are down that road, and over here we have the main gate. So the campus is really vast. Uh, we're in the middle of a forest, so there's a lot of greenery as well. And it's really fantastic to just walk around the campus. A lot of students, whenever they're looking to take a break, they might walk or they might go for a jog in the evenings. And personally, I love to run on the campus as well.
Hey Akash. Hey Nikhil. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Yeah. This is your final year, right? Yep, yep. Uh, that's right. So when are you leaving? Leaving uh, tomorrow actually. Going back home. It's going to be my last weekend in campus. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So how how are placements in like in ski? Oh. I actually didn't sit for placements. I have okay. a startup that I'm building called uh -huh. Cluso. Oh. But the placements are good this time. A lot of my friends got jobs mm -hmm. doing uh, quant. Uh, software, a lot of variety of different jobs that people are getting. It's going really good. Oh, okay, cool. How about you? Yeah, I'm uh, going for a research internship this summer, actually. So oh, I'm where? tonight to Canada for oh, my Oh, that's tax. nice. Yeah. Is that like an academic research? Uh... Uh, yeah, so I mean, so I'm working in a lab uh, where we're going to be analyzing brain signals for uh, EEG and fMRI data to you know, it's, it's, it's actually in a hospital. Oh, in that's the University nice. Of Toronto. Do a lot of people in your batch go? Yeah, quite a few people in my batch yeah. are actually going to Canada. Okay, yeah. that's great. Good luck with that. Cool. All right. Thank you too. Bye. So we're at uh, Himalaya Food Court right now. And uh, this is where most students come to eat if they don't want to eat at the mess. You get a variety of different food options. Right now we're eating chaat. So you get North Indian, South Indian, Italian. Uh, there's a bakery as well. So really whatever kind of cuisine you want to get, uh, you can get it over here. Plus it's super subsidized and very cheap also. Uh, pretty friendly on the pocket. Wanna have best food in Chennai? Come to SIR Mass Himalaya second floor. So, what I would like to say about Insti is how the coffee quality over the years has, you know, reduced in Insti. There were so many good coffee shops before, now there are next to none. Which is what I'd like to say. The coffee. Style. actually only allowed to drive cycles. One thing that you might be surprised about is that IIT Madras has some excellent sporting facilities. Not everyone here is a nerd. Right now I'm standing outside the Champlas Cricket Stadium. It uh, plays host to a number of matches including women's ODIs as well as a lot of Ranji Trophy matches. Personally, I play tennis for the institute team as well. I saw the flashes in the dark Colors on the wall 
Bright against the monochrome Where I felt so small I drew the curtains up Pulled away the blinds Heard a rushing wind Through the windows of my mind And I began to glow With divine Shine, 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 shine In the naked light of Adonai Shine, 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 shine I am now standing outside the Department of Engineering Design building uh, in IIT Madras. Engineering design is not a subject that is offered in any of the other IITs other than IIT Madras. It is the only B.Tech branch in IIT Madras which is different than the other branches. Engineering design is actually a, is a combination of electrical and mechanical engineering. And you have to pass the IIT, JE, main as well as the advanced test in order to qualify for this. Clouds like smoke It lingers in the corners It slides like a ghost It comes alive from... I am now standing outside the Department of Biological Engineering at IIT Madras. Biological Engineering is basically the study of three different fields uh, Biotechnology, Computational Biology as well as Biomedical Engineering. Computational Biology is basically the study of Data Science and uh, what it involves is uh, uh, feeding all the data into the computer and then using uh, different artificial intelli intelligence models to predict the outcome of different uh, genes and drugs on different diseases. Biotechnology is basically the creation of the drug to cure the disease and biomedical engineering is basically the study of uh, how to create the different medical devices that are used in the hospitals. Yeah, so this is in a uh, spectrophotometer. So it allows you to determine exactly what frequencies of light are passing through a specific sample and different kinds of samples have passed different frequencies of light. So by doing this, we'll be able to know if the sample is a protein or a DNA sample or something else. In the naked light, I had a night. Shine, 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 shine. in the mind it clouds
clouds like smoke It lingers in the corners It slides like... One of the things that a lot of people have been asking me is How does a foreign citizen gain admission into the IITs? A foreign citizen is defined as somebody who has a foreign passport. Now there are two kinds of people who can qualify to get into the IITs. If you are a foreign passport holder and you do not stay in this country, then you can gain admission into the uh, IITs directly to the JE advanced exam, which are held outside the country as well. But I believe from this year 2023 onwards, foreign nationals who are living inside India also can go through the same process of getting admitted into the IITs by writing only the JE advanced. They fall into a different quota called the supernumerary quota. And what is the supernumerary quota? Well, it is a quota where, uh, uh, where the number of seats that are uh, reserved for the general category students remains constant. And they actually add 10%, 15%, 20% more seats for additional students. There is a supernumerary quota for girls in the IITs and now they have started a supernumerary quota for the foreign nationals in the IITs as well. I hope uh, you all take advantage of this uh, great opportunity and uh, try and get admitted into the IITs even though you are a US citizen or a, or a citizen of any other country. Wait, say action. Action. Okay. I'm really delighted to graduate from an IIT, from IIT Madras. Uh, I, I'm really fortunate that I could have the same curiosity and excitement 